Now, technically speaking, there is still one quest hub to complete in Asuna. But you know what? I've got the Pillar of Creation, and today, I want to be moving onwards with the story. We are, however, gonna most definitely go back to Asuna at some point. But for now, I made my way back towards the class hall. Now, in the class hall, there's one thing that's been bothering me for a little while. There's like a gazillion NPCs, okay, more, more like three or so of them, that got exclamation points above their heads. And I think we should probably go ahead and get started with some of the class hall quest so obviously this is going to be the class hall for all of the mages and the first one that we're going to get started with today is going to be Archmage Malice uh, the mistress of flame she's had this exclamation point above her head since like I don't know it's it's been like it's been months <laughs> we should probably go ahead and talk to her the legion is coming for everyone and everything we must embrace the fires of Azeroth if we hope to see the dawn that is that is real dramatic of you Archmage Malice I'm sure it's not that bad Grand Conjurer Mimic has arrived to aid us in bolstering our numbers. She seeks out the most promising apprentices, apprentices and trains them very quickly. Her former students are some of the most powerful conjurers in the land. Speak to her and recruit some of her apprentices to add to our roster. Okay. So we can most definitely go ahead and talk to him. Apprentices. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that word. But as you can see, like... On the minimap, there's quite a couple of quests as well. We will also have to get started with choosing our next strike point really quickly. But I think for now, I'm gonna make my way to the staircase that isn't over here. But for now, I'm gonna make my way to the staircase and move up and see if there's another one of those quests that we can turn in. Because as you may remember, yeah, Archmage Ketker is over Thank here. You for coming so quickly. He's declining <sighs> Meryl hasn't been right. Listen, this is magic nature. You were right to summon me. So, as you may remember, we completed the quest of Ravandweer over in Asuna just a little while ago. And he should be able to, at the very least, aid Meryl right here. He's not doing all too well. He's throwing up in his bed. He's been here for a while as well. But first off, we'll talk to Ketgar. and the Legion must be stopped. Ravandweer speaks very highly of how you dealt with the Empyrean Society, Loco. Hey, thank you very much, sir. Ooh, we got a water globe? I always wanted the water globe. Yeah, as yeah, well as... Glory of the Order, 300 artifact power? That's a ton. Hey, come back. So we've completed the very first class hall quest. Archmage Fargold's involvement with the Empyrean Society is troubling. However, as he has proven his loyalty to the Kirin Tor many times, we must give him the benefit of the doubt for now. Still, I am obligated to share our concerns with the rest of the Council. You had best travel to Dalaran and meet with them in the Violet Citadel. I will remain here to care for our old friend. Speak to the Council of Six in Dalaran. Okay, the Council is in session. We will most definitely go ahead and do so. Now, apparently completing that one quest only unlocked more. So first off, let's talk to Meryl. Meryl, that's not good. We have information on one last artifact you might seek out. You should seek uh, to weave other types of magic. All the details are here. Let me know if you'd like to proceed. You know what? We're gonna do so a little bit later. For now, Meryl, I'll let you be ill. I'm gonna complete some of the other quests and eventually... We'll make sure to grab ourselves that final artifact weapon for uh, the Frost Mage as well. Ravendweer. I've been Archmage Vargold's apprentice for far too long. Perhaps it is time for me to serve a new master. I would be honored if you would accept me as your champion, Loco. Okay. Teleport forward a short distance to counter a hazard. He's got blink. So Ravendweer can now be used as a follower. That's actually pretty great. All right. Next up, I also want to go ahead and talk to Esara Verindi. You and I have proven to be quite successful together. I'd be happy to lend you my swords and spells against the Burning Legion anytime, Loco. Oh! But would you look at that? We've got a whole bunch of different followers that I just never accepted just yet. Interesting. I've got a couple of available missions as well. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send some of my followers on these. Um, we can go for one of the shorter ones or for one of the longer ones. I do want to make sure that I get some more artifact power. So I think we're going to go ahead and just simply run with these instead. Archmage Kalak already very... Alright, well, he's already very powerful. I guess we can just simply send him on this mission alone. He's going to be able to nil that just fine. Now we got the Dried World Tree seats over here as well. Asara will be able to fill that fire slot there. Ravendwear, can you... Alright, fine. You guys, you guys head out there. And you know what? Archmage Madeira has been following me for a little while, but for the moment, I think I'm gonna go ahead and send her out on a mission to High Mountain. There we go. 
I haven't actually done too many missions as of late. This should help out quite a bit. Hey, and here is the Grand Conjurer. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a gnome. All right, well, I guess, I guess we can do that. She looks huge in this overview screen. My student's skills will blow you away. This is the Grand Conjurer, by the way, that we had to, uh, that we had to go to. Good to see you, Loco. My apprentices are learning rapidly and are ready to serve you. Sure. I'll, I'll take some, I guess. Is, is that, is that all you have to say? Ooh. Train a squad of troops which can accompany champions on missions to increase the chances of success. Oh! So basically these are just, uh, oh, okay, so basically these are just like the water elemental, huh? There we go, recruitment started. Alrighty, so next up I've got a lot of loose ends in Dalaran as well, so let's make our way there. Lani Gosa, what are you doing here? Alrighty, so first off, we need to find Nomi. Now, Nomi was... I've actually never really been in the the Horde part of Dalaran. That may be very strange, but I, I always played Alliance for the longest time when, when Dalaran was the go-to city. You could never enter this part of the city. That's actually really cool. I just realized, I think I've maybe been here like once or twice. I've never actually, I've never actually checked it out. Anyhow, ooh, nice. Uda the Beast, that is a lovely name for a woman. Um, as you may remember, we got Nomi, who we found. I, I believe we found a recipe for him and he got summoned, or either way, we found him. Yeah, there we go. I think he's gonna be helping us out with cooking in, uh, in the new expansion as well. Let's have a quick look. Greetings, Loco, what are we cooking today? Too many cooks. Mage, I was hoping you'd come back. Here, take a sample of some of the recipes and dishes I've been working on. So he's gonna be he's gonna be giving me a bunch of stuff. There we go. We got dried mackerel strips, apparently. I've tried adventuring, and it isn't for me. Cooking is my one true passion. The heat of the stove, the sizzle of bacon, nothing beats it. Let me help you, Master Loco. If you can bring me some recipes, I can work on improving them here in Dalaran. We'll make a great team. What do you say? Sure. We can do so. And actually, I believe I... Oh, man, I already learned a whole lot of them. I already learned a whole lot of them. They just don't show up just yet. Alright, it's fine. We'll go ahead and learn the ones that we've got. And eventually, we'll go ahead and finish up his quest as well. But I don't think we really track that for the moment. Ooh, well, while I don't plan on doing cooking right now, I guess we can go ahead and learn a lot of these recipes. I mean, apparently, did I never... Did I never teach myself all of those? You guys may remember that during one of the episodes, after getting up to the max level of 700 fishing, I basically went straight to the max level of cooking as well. There we go. <laughs> I probably should have had those. I probably should have already had those to begin with. Next up, we'll head to the Council of Six. We just got a quest from Archmage Khadgar to seek those out. There they are. We do not tolerate misconduct amongst our own, Conjurer. However, if your accusation against Archmage Vargoth proves malicious, know that the consequences will be severe. I mean, we saw that he was part. I've been following the Conjurer for some time now. And these are not spurious charges. I too observed Archmage Vargoth behaving oddly. As have I. He has been quite preoccupied of late. I love this though. Is that that's actually a player? <laughs> I totally was thinking, why does this this mage have several like daggers in his hands? That that's a rogue, Loco. That's a level 110 rogue. That's just another player. If it is true that Archmage Vargold is exploring fell magic, I will be shocked. Still, we owe you our thanks in bringing this matter to our attention. Archmage Vargold has been absent for a while. You may have a look around his living quarters here in the Citadel Tower, Loco. Kalak will escort you there. I will hold out hope that our esteemed colleague is merely up to his usual eccentricity. Eccentricity. There we go. Close enough. Today is today is the day of hard work, isn't it? Up. Portal coming up. All right, Kalak. Something about you seems... So wait, you have a portal to Archmage Kallax's room? That is real lazy. Wait, we can... Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I didn't know we could go all the way up here. So if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be part of the... Um, like the, the class hall mage quests. So these are uh, specifically for mages. If you're not playing a mage, you probably haven't seen that. Uh, or any of those missions just yet. Uh, although, I think I may have just teleported right in front of the door and... Now I'm just randomly walking around. Look at that, though. Dalaran is so pretty. All right, I guess it's time to enter. This is a nice space for a mortal. Let's see what secrets it is hiding. Kalak, you can't do that. 
Well, I mean, I can do that, but you're... Well, I guess you're, you're kind of... You're sort of like a friend, huh? Alright, fine. We'll have a quick look. Well-worn scroll. We'll examine all of the things in this room. Now, this is interesting. I had no idea Art Mage Vargoth was also interested in the breeding habits of angelfish. <laughs> Wait, is that a journal you found? That may be what we're looking for. I mean, are you just gonna give commentary on what I'm doing? Fascinating. This is a spellbook of ancient nightborn rituals. I must borrow it sometime. That's a donut? Woo! Oh, that stinks. It's covered in mold. Archmage Vargoth has been away longer than I thought. And a crystal ball as well. Mortals and their crystal balls. Although this one may actually be more than just a novelty. All right, well. You seem troubled. You've given me my play-by-play -play commentary, uh, Calic. <laughs> what's it? What's it gonna be about? What have you discovered, Loco? Well, I mean, you stood right next to me. I got all of the stuff. This appears to be Archmage Vargoth's note on the. Nightborn Soul Stone. Supposedly, the energy of captured souls stored within can be channeled directly from the stone. If that's true, it is very powerful indeed. Archmage Fargoth seemed to be mixed up in something dangerous. Not that that's unusual for an Archmage of his caliber and experience. The Arcway Vaults may be where he's headed, but we should investigate all leads in order to get a better idea of what he's up to. Okay. Speak free. I can uh, I can use my followers for this? Huh, I can order my followers for that. That's actually really cool. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that I need to jump down here? I can give myself slow full. But I mean... Yeah. Hold on, let me turn it. There we go. <laughs> I really like Dalaran. Dalaran's always so pretty. But you know what? Let's go. Oh! Ice Cube, coming from the sky. Lucky for you, Dalaran citizen, that I didn't fall on top of your face. You would have been dead. Yeah, so remember when I just now sent all of my followers on missions? I have one mission that I need to send them on in order to <laughs> in order to complete this one with Archmage Vargoth's travels. I will most definitely go ahead and do so once the others return, but for now, that's gonna take quite a couple of hours. Now, I really haven't done very much just yet in this expansion with my professions. I've you know, disenchanted all of the gear that I found so far that I'm not using. So, you know, I've, I've made some use of my disenchanting. But other than that, tailoring and enchanting are still at the base level. So, you know what? Let's talk to Enchanter Nalthanis right here and see what he has to say. How may I help you? Some enchanted evening. Welcome. It is nice to see familiar faces returning to Dalaran. You might remember Ildine, Vanessa and me from Northrend. Archmage Starsinger is in charge of the shop, but he's away on current tour business at the moment. He's a fine fellow, mostly. Your arrival is fortunate. We've run into a problem that we'd love to solve before the Archmage returns. Interested in lending a hand? Sure, I can do so. So apparently I need to go ahead and complete some quests for them. How may I help you? Some enchanted evening, once again. I'm relieved you've come, Loco. We could certainly use another enchanter in the shop at a time like this. Sure. As you can see, we're hard at work producing enchants for the battle against the Legion. Since you're here, we could really use your help wrapping up one of our orders. If you could, acquire some Valums and start enchanting them with versatility. Here, I'll teach you the formula. Create two times enchant ring ward the versatility Valum for Ildine. You can acquire Valums from a scribe or from the auction house. Sure, I can do that. That was a badass, uh, that was a badass uh, animation right there. Can I maybe... Oh, no, I was gonna say, can I maybe become a higher level? But I actually just immediately unlocked it. Alright, I see how it is. I... I never told myself these now either. Now, just just like the cooking ones, huh? Oh, these are actually... There's a ton of them. There are a ton of them. <laughs> how did I... Yeah, okay. I love how happy Enchanter Nalthanas is. Look at him. He's so excited about this. Whew, there we go. That was actually surprisingly expensive. Taught me quite a little bit of spells, though. Quite a couple of them. Alright, we should be good to go. I can now go ahead and enchant some of these rings. We're gonna need Valums, though. Do I have any with me? Oh, I didn't actually know that there was a Transmogrifier right here as well. That's awesome. I want to make a couple of minor changes, I think. There we go. Much nicer. 
All right, so there's also a so-called blood trainer over My here. My life is dedicated to destroying the burning leaves. Around the aisles, the very blood of our enemy attempts to corrupt all things. But as you may already know, this blood can be extracted. We demon hunters use this blood for our own rituals, fueling us to fight back the demon invasion. Bring me any blood of Sargeras you find, and I will trade you with what I can. Nothing is more what? Oh. I don't think I've got any of those now, do I? Now, besides enchanting, I also do have tailoring. Let's have a quick look. How may I help you? Sue, it begins. <laughs> Every time Dalaran takes us to a new shore, I get anxious over what types of fabric and cloth we might find below. Threats imbued with magic, something demonically tinged? Ugh, I hope it's not first again. You're an adventurer and tailor to boot. Head on down there and see what you can scrounge up. I got a whole bunch of stuff, actually. I must definitely have got 10 cinderized silk. There we go. I can turn that in. I wouldn't mind working with some cashmere. Well, I mean, I got silk for you. I got a whole bunch of cloth, actually, that I found down below. Now this, this I can work with. Reminds me of some old Night Elven Festival cloth I've seen. All right. Eindaro, what can you make with this cloth? Looks like Night Elven cloth too. Wait a moment. Those are ancient highborn patterns. Fascinating. All right. Well, let's see what else she has to say about this. This should be simple, right? I have plenty of silk patterns that we can put this cloth to work on. Help me prepare the materials, Loco. We're going to put this cloth to good use and make you a new robe. Craft a handcrafted silk weave robe on Tani Thria's finishing bench. You can find some of the patterns in your tailoring pattern list. You can find the materials for the pattern in her shop. Here, try out this pattern and use my materials. You, uh, materials. you will find them lying around the shop. Okay, so I can craft something. Ooh, I actually... Can I just... Can I just take all of this stuff? No, okay, I was gonna say. That would have been crazy. Uh, but apparently I need to craft myself... I need to craft myself one of these items. Alright. All that we need now is some dye. Purple and red. Will look fabulous. Those are my two favorite colors. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And as you can see, now my tailoring got bumped up to 800 as well. Very helpful. What a disaster. Oh, <laughs> the threat is just falling right out of the fabric. I've never seen anything like this before. Wait, you're telling me that I can't use this cloth? I mean, that's a shame. Without the ability to do any stitching, we can hardly do anything with this fabric. Still, there are patterns we know that don't require stitchings. Shoulder pads are easy and belt should be a cinch. Okay. So there we go. We can't. Uh, we 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 can now go ahead and, and craft a whole bunch of things. Whoever wove this fabric can't have intended it for only belts and shoulder pads. There must be some way to seal threat into this material. Head on down to Asuna and try to find a tailor. We need to seal uh, if we're going to do any real tailoring. Wait, we can. We we gotta find ourselves a tailor in Asuna. I can do that. I heard a passing adventurer mention something about a tailor setting up shop in Asuna within the Greenway. Okay, I can head down there. And I guess the same goes for tailoring. Got a whole lot of recipes to teach myself. I mean, the funny thing is that I don't even plan on crafting any of these items, right? I mean, there's only so many things I really want to craft. But it's just, for me being a completionist and all, I <laughs> I really want to make sure I got all of these recipes. I, I mean, this is costing me thousands of golds. There we go. But I do want to make sure I got all of it unlocked. All right, you know what? I still got my uh, I still got my Hearthstone set in Asuna. We may as well head back for just a little bit. Excuse me, Naga. I don't really want to fight you guys. Don't worry about me. I'm just coming through. Don't you worry about it. No, no need to shoot a harpoon barrage at me. All right, so we're on the Greenway. This should be where that tailor is located. There he is, Lindros. How are you doing, sir? I mean, I'm just here to hang out for a little while. My, my, look at you, such an attractive young mage, and all bedecked in magical finery and weaponry. To what do I owe the pleasure? Ah, tailoring. It is your lucky day. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name, Loco? It's your lucky day, Loco. It happens to be, or I happen to be, one of the best tailors in Suramar. Well, tell me. Tell me about it. Those damned lay weavers had no right to throw me out. No right at all, I say. He's got a couple of quests for me, apparently. Runic Catgut. Let me guess, threat troubles? Mm-hmm, I suspected as much. My people weave sumptuous silks, but those silks can be fickle about the types of threat they'll accept. 
Shadowrise Silk has a bit of a lay energy woven right into it. You need something that's learned to coexist with the lay energies of this land. I'm talking about Owl Cats, my good friends. Uh, they have what you need. You'll find them amongst the ruins of Lothine. Okay, so we need to obtain three pieces of that. That's fine. And then we also have a quest called Hard Times. When I worked at the Tailoring Guild in Suramar, I would usually work off of a pattern. Something that inspired me. Unfortunately, I've run into a streak of bad luck, and I'm ashamed to say that I no longer have my patterns. The Naga Sorceresses in the Lagoon to the west, however, have expertly soon wrist reps, and the Knight fallen to the north where ropes that we can use. If you can pry one from the greedy clutches. Alright, we can obtain those. But the Knight fallen look uh, much like I do. They are craven, twisted lay addicts of who will stab you in the back to get a taste of your mana. I am a friendly tailor who has simply fallen on hard times. Please note the difference. All right. Maybe if I explained that, uh, I was just borrowing it to have me back. No, no, no. Titalo would never go for that. I see how it is. Not entirely sure if you're true, but I'll go ahead and, and grab all of these things that you were asking for, starting with the Naga wrist wraps. If I can target one down, that is. I've killed so many of the Naga already. It's been kind of insane. Like, I've killed so many of these Naga. Apparently, you guys have fine wrist wraps, though. But you're not just gonna drop that, are you? Oh, got it! Finally! I actually had to kill quite a couple there. Next up, we'll go after the Night Fallen. Whoopsie daisies, I'm getting distracted again. I'm getting distracted again. There's a there's an epic over here, a rare mob. Pride Lord Meow. Can I... Sir, could I, like, throw a fireball at your face, please? Oh, he's not in line of sight. Hold on. I guess I'll have to walk around then. There we go. I'm putting some... Uh, ooh, these are actually these are actually the Prowlers that we need to kill as well, apparently. These are, by the way, the cats that we need to kill for their cat gut, by the way. Which is fine. There we go. Do you guys drop them easily? Of course you don't. Of course you don't. I, I wasn't even surprised. Um, anyhow, that big one over there is what I want to kill. That's actually... That's a bit of a weird mix. There's actually a lot of corpses nearby as well. Alright, you know what? I got my, uh, I got my cooldowns ready to go. I think we'll be alright. We're gonna be able to do quite a little bit of damage. There we go. And he does drop some Valiant Glory, as well as some Order Hall resources. Pretty much all that we are looking for. Nice. The drop rate on these Cat Guts is actually very, very small. I've killed a lot of them. I think I've killed over, like, probably if I would have to guess, about 15. I've only got one. This is actually gonna take a little bit of time, isn't it? Ooh, well, there we go. Speaking of devil. Got my second one. All right, so I've got all three. Next up, we're gonna be heading north to the Night Fallen, the ones that we were originally headed to before I got so... I got interrupted and distracted. I'm sorry, this always happens. Here we go, we're back in the northern side of the zone once again. Probably my favorite part of this zone, to be honest with you. Remember uh, when we initially managed to, uh, you know, make it to the blue dragonflight and all that? I really, really, really like those quests. Those were really fun. There you go. What's up, buddies? How are you all doing? How is old Grandpa Blue Drake? Um, ooh, here we go. There's one over here. We only need one. Do you think we got lucky first time around? Hey, at the very least, I can pull a whole lot of these all at once. It does speed up the process. And if I'm getting some help here from a level 110 Undead Priest, that also does most definitely make the game a little bit more straightforward. Can't complain about this. Not bad at all. Whoa, whoa, calm down now. All right, are we lucky this time? Uh, got it. Got it. Nice. I remember the good old days where being a tailor just involved using needle and threat and actually, you know, suing stuff. Apparently nowadays you need to even be in combat just to learn how to use this stuff. But anyhow, I got it. I simply, or this simply will not do. I must find better accommodations. I got it, Lindros. You can come to Dalaran if you wanna. I mean, if you wanna, that is. Runic Cat God, I got it. They are quite remarkable creatures, really. I used to keep one as a pet and mount, but that was a lifetime ago. Really? That's pretty badass. Perfect. Marvelous. Okay. I got the other ones as well. Uh, what have you got on your hands there? I've got everything you asked me for, sir. You, Loco, are a person of great skill. I sent you out for patterns and you do so without question. Remarkable. Very good. I think we're ready to begin. Landorus steals a glance at your powerful weapon. A look of hunger washes over his face before he shakes it off and continues. 
Let's prepare our materials and make a rope and braces that you so rightfully deserve. Craft a rune threaded silk weave rope and a set of rune threaded silk weave braces at Leandris's finishing table. You can find the patterns in your tailoring pattern list. Sweet. Please use my table in the middle of the room to perform your tasks. All right. I can I can craft some stuff here. I can craft silk weave clen clinge kinge kinge and uh, some shoulders as well. Those are just one out of three stars, though. I believe you need to like learn how to do it better before it becomes, uh, you know, anything reasonable. Hey, by the way, are you kidding me? I need to get two more runic cat guts. I need to get two more before I can. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to head up north once again. For some reason, now they seem to drop much faster. I killed three and I got three immediately. Oh, are you kidding me? <gasps> I went out to get some specific cat gut, but it's right here. It's right here on the table. I'm an idiot. It said it would be on the table as well. I just didn't. Oh my. All right. I'm I'm not that smart, guys. I never I never said I was. That was a little silly though. A little, you know, just a little on the silly end. There we go. I got it done. I got it done, sir. I thought you stole from me, but it's okay, Lindros. I forgive you. You're pretty lucky to have found me. Well, you're really happy about yourself, aren't you? There you have it. No, no, no. Don't thank me. I'm just happy to have been of service. Sweet. May I ask a favor, Loco? As I am recently without a home, shop, family or friends, I was wondering if you might show me your floating city. I must admit, I am very curious about the place. I've also heard good things about their tailoring shop. I have no way of getting there myself, but certainly such a magical city has someone who can summon me. Leandris looks at you with hopeful apprehension. Please, take your time. I'll just be waiting here to patiently be summoned to Dalaran. Try not to forget about me. All right, let's go. Let's go, sir. Okay, can you? I can make you a portal if you want to. You want me to make you a portal? All right, you know what? I'll go back to Dalaran real quick and ask if they want you there. Who? Who are you? Salutations. Salutations. Hey, how may I help you? I need someone summoned up to Dalaran. Can you help me? A summon? Sure. Where did you say he was? Hold on a second, there. I've got him. Hey, there we go. There you go, guys. Those damn lay weavers had no right to throw me out. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, the tailoring trainer real quick. The wayward tailor. I got it. Your friend certainly has an interesting appearance. He thought you to sew this silk. Hmm. Maybe you should keep him around for a while. Cool. So now we can begin tailoring as well. Although apparently there's another quest. This time around once again with Lindris. The shop has almost everything we need. Unfortunately, the quality of your sewing needles is lacking. I do know where we can get better needles. The spirits of Valshara are covered with spine, which, fortuitously, are perfect for the type of sewing we need. I hate to be such a prickler stickler, but these needles really will make a difference. Obtain 150 sprite thorns. Now, of course, these quests will just go on and on and on and on, and I will definitely go ahead and finish those by myself, because they're definitely not the most exciting ones in the game. What I'm gonna do now for the moment though, is use the glory of the order that we got earlier. Make sure that we use the Valiant's glory over here as well, and while we don't quite get a second level just yet, I can go ahead and spend some of my uh, some of my points here on another one. I could go for the fire at will, reduce the cast time of my uh, fireball once again. I mean, I'm okay with that. I could also go with the burning gaze. Increases the fire critical damage you deal by 1%. I mean, both of those are really good. Um, flame strong. I, all of these talents are so good. We're gonna have to get all of them. I'll just get, I'll just get the fire and will first and foremost. And that is going to be that. We made it back to the hall of the guardian, the class hall of the mages. I really like hanging out, hanging out over here. The music is so good. Anyhow, it looks like we're slowly but surely getting to the max level. I really want to thank you, each and every one of you, for watching this. There's been a roughly about ten thousand or so people that really seem to enjoy this series because. Like, we've been in for quite a couple of episodes, and while they take a very long amount of time to produce, which is one of the reasons why I'm not the max level yet, I've been really enjoying the process, so I, I hope you enjoy watching them as well. It means a lot that so many of you are still interested in watching me play World of Warcraft. But other than that, I want to thank you all very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.